Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to the channel. So today we're playing Kerbal Space Program. Believe it or not, I'm a sci-fi YouTuber and I've never actually played this game before. I know, right? That sounds weird. So that's a little disclaimer there if you're thinking I'm going to be some sort of expert at this game. I am by far means the worst person ever to set foot in this game. I was gifted this back in 2015? 16? Probably 2015 to be honest by my friend Tom at the time. So yes, thanks Tom, I'm finally getting around to playing this. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be quite cool, we're in December, I'm doing some cool constant limits. Come check out this game and actually see what it's all about. I'm aware of some of the basics of it's about. Um, but recently I got a lot of comments saying I sounded like a Kerbal Space Program YouTuber. So I thought, hey, let's go and embrace this and see if we can imitate him. No, I'm joking. Let's go and see if we can play this and actually see where it goes. Uh, but yeah, see if you can guess what YouTubers sound like, by the way, according to some people. Let's get into this. Um, I'm going to have to do training, I think, when it's... There we go, training. Um, we're going to have to do this. What a, getting started. Oh, this is going to be one of those games, isn't it? Oh. Uh, this is all presented by famous rocket scientist Werner von Kerman himself. Covers basics of rocket construction. I probably should do this, to be honest. I don't know how boring these training sessions are going to be for people like yourselves, who have probably played Kerbal Space Program and think I'm a twat, apart from that. Welcome to today's lecture on, oh, lecture, oh Christ, I didn't do uni, on vessel construction. I'm not insert name here. Whether you want to put a satellite into orbit, make a transcontinental flight, or step onto a very surface of the moon, I, I take that's an inside joke, you're going to need to build yourself a ship. Can I have the Enterprise? I'm pretty sure you can get the Enterprise in this game, can't you? It's like, add it in or something. It'd be pretty easy even if you're not a famous rocket scientist like myself. Well, it's not exactly rocket science. Oh God, he makes noises. In this tutorial, I will first show you around the curb. Okay, I don't need to read that. Oh, I get to hover. Vehicle assembly building, research and development, astronaut complex, administration building, tracking station, launch pad, runway, space plane hangar. Let's click on that. Oh. Okay, that was locked. Inside a vehicle, whatever it is, I didn't take down the name of it. Very good, what you see in the middle of the screen is the construction area. This is where parts are placed and your craft is constructed. On the left side of the screen is a parts toolbox. It will show you the parts you have accessible in each of the different categories. Hmm. Awesome. Why does he keep making that noise? If you want your craft to be controllable, you need a command module, and that's the best first place for you to start. Cool. At least one part is placed so you can look around with your following controls. Orbit camera, arrow keys, or right mouse drag. Oh, very nice. Uh, move the camera up and down is a uh, scroll wheel. There we go. Zoom the camera. Shift plus scroll wheel. Ah, very nice. I like this. Cool. Right, next. Fantastic. <laughs> if you'd like to pilot, you'd be able to more. Than, well, if you'd like your pilot to be able to make more than one flight, he or she'd have to return safely to the ground or water on Kerbin. I take it that's the planet, isn't it? Parachutes are a simple way to make sure it happens. They can be found on the utility tab. Change tabs by clicking the icons. Cool. Uh, engines, command center, structural, coupling, payload, aerodynamics, ground, thermal, electricity, communications. Ah, okay. Can I just... Ah, there we go. Awesome. Some parts like the parachutes here have configurable options. Do I, can I click on him and... Oh. For now, let's check the opening height on the chute is at least 1,000 meters. How do I... What buttons do I need to press? Right click. Oh, piss. Um... Let's change to 9.50. Oh, I've got to set it to exactly that, have I? Next. That allows me to do that. Next up, we're going to make... need to make us go. Click on the engines tab. Awesome. Engines, this one. Oh, that's quite, um... <laughs> Why am I building here? This is... Next up, we're going to need something to make us go... Oh, I can't it. Click on next. Yeah, it's cool. Fantastic. I forgot you're just saying it. You're not a famous rocket scientist. He loves rubbing that bit in, doesn't he? Um, and to make that craft survive as it as I. You'd have to be better at a rocket science than me. Ha! Impossible. Uh, is that a solid rocket is too powerful for a payload, or a single small pod and shoot? It'll either burn up on the ascent for you going too fast, or burn up coming back down. Ah, brilliant. Two, two basic things we can do there. I love burning up. Um, even if you fail to survive, that crew's mass will cause you to fall for a fan hair. Yeah. Okay, I promise to teach you about it. That's fantastic. At least a way to get you to tell about removing parts. Pick up the back thumper. Ah, and either drop it back on. Oh, okay. Oh, is this it? Oh, I got rid of it. I think I just... Oh, okay, this is a new thing. That's interesting. That's quite small, that is. Yeah. Instead, let's add a solid mod uh, motor that's better matched for a ship of this size. At the start of your career, you'll have what I uh, consider rubbish parts. Literally, the motor here looks like, and may as well be, a converted trash can. 
sums up most of you what I deal with on a daily basis. That said, it does not have to deal oomph and it can get a little craft moving skyward, and quickly, as you progress, you'll be able to unlock more engines and other parts. For now though, let's pick up the RT-5 flea and connect it to the bottom of the pod. <laughs> oh god, he makes more noises. Nice one, you've built a simplest survival craft. In the bottom right, you'll see the staging stack. It's a box with its number zero and icons for the parachuting engine with it. So that shows us which parts will be activated as well as our stage on rocket. Oh. Um, to fix it, okay. What this shows is that we need to activate the next stage, both the engine and the parachute will be triggered. To fix this, we need to separate the engine and chute into two stages. If you mouse over the zero stage, you'll see a little plus and a, okay. Oh, I've done something. Ah. Oh, interesting. Excellent, it's important to make my notes. Oh, okay. Very nice. Oh, Alright. That's it, now we have safe. Okay. Save icon in the upper right. Save. Untitled space. Oh, can I name it now? Um, can I call it send help? Send help. There we go. Hit that like button. Hey. Excellent work. Oh god, feel free to play around with the parts and techniques I've shown you, and then when you're ready to continue, press the red button and you'll have right to exit. Okay, so... I can't put more stuff on it. No, okay, can I see this? Thruster limit. Oh, nice. Oh, command pod. Wheels of 1400. This is really interesting. I'm liking this game. However, I feel like there's a hell of a lot of me to actually deal with. Right, do I have to do the next one now? Training. Um... Suborbital flight. Building for your prior flight stories. Why don't we just try effing around for a bit? Let's uh, start new. Sandbox. We'll call it default. Uh, that's overwrite. I tried messing around already. But yeah, don't take this game as me being anything serious, but I've always simply my first look at Curl Space Grill because a lot of you requested it. So let's get into this. Welcome to the Space Center. Nice to meet you. You're going to break everything. Uh, I'm Gene Kerman, the flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center, from here you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel we'd have a look around, hold the right mouse button and move. Thanks, I've got it. So that's a vehicle assembly bay, it's a place plane hangar, allows the construction of a spacecraft designed to be launched from the runway. Oh, okay. And this is where, okay, so I can log into here straight off, because we're in sandbox mode right now. Yep, that's got it, thank you for taking that. So we need a command module, um, we'll do that, we'll go with what we can. Let's build that rocket and see if we can launch it, what he was on about. Engines, um, I wonder if we can shove something big on it. So what did we have? It was this one, wasn't it? The flea. Max thrust. Let's look for the bigger numbers. Um, 169, 197. Yeah. I like that. Oh, piss. Um, you can attach stuff like that? Nice. What's this then? Coupling. I don't know what couplings do. Structural. Ah! Multi-point connector. Can I have like fins and stuff to it? Command and control. Um, into inline reaction wheel. A Verno engine? What's a Verno engine? Oh, I don't need that. That can go away. Goodbye. Communication. Can I stick a satellite on the side of it? <laughs> can we launch this into space? I don't think we can. We've got something smaller. Now, that's gonna add too much drag, isn't it? I I know a little bit about physics, I think. I think that's a, no. When I say I know about physics, I had a GCC in physics, which these days doesn't mean much. Structural. Um, ah, aerodynamics. This is what we're talking about, boys and girls. Um, maybe not. Um, is there not something I can payload? What's the payload again? <laughs> this is not gonna work. It, realistically, I, I don't, don't see this happening. Snap that there. Uh huh. And where's. Where, is it that one? It was, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, snap this there. There we go. We've built something that looks really stupid. <laughs> this is just not. It's not that new trailer. This will not go the way you think. No, it won't. Fuel tanks. Ah, oh, we could do with one of these, can we? In fact, take that off there, put that over there for a sec. I like the idea you can hold blocks here. Um, that's the, yeah, I need a big one of that. There you go, right now. Add, ah, stuff that, let's get a big one. Engines. Give me a bigger engine. 
turbo fan. Ah, we need turbo fans. Stick gal on there. I don't think we have the fuel for that, actually. <laughs> that might be taking a piss a bit too far. Um, 197. There we go, just put that on there. Again, a bit too big. Oh, I clicked off again. Now, we need something that's like, not too big, but gets the point across. That doesn't really do it for me. That, that kind of sells it, doesn't it? Can we like, launch it already? How do we launch? <laughs> I probably should have saved that actually, shouldn't I? I I'm going to strip with tea and shut up to be honest. Oh. Um... I love how there's probably some Kerbal Space Program YouTuber or real proper player watching me dick around with this and thinking he's an idiot. But nice launch pad. Very nice. Oh, that's the building I was in. This isn't gonna work, is it? How do I... Staging mode. Nope, oh, staging mode. How do I launch it? Warp? But isn't it like a big red button? <laughs> How do I lights, um brakes? Space center, no no, get get rid of that. Um yeah, what button actually makes it go? <laughs> oh god, that, that button made it go. Oh no, oh dear. Um Maybe the aerodynamics wasn't such a good idea. Can we recover this? Let's do the SpaceX thing where we land on the same pad. Odds on not burning up in the ground? Oh. Hmm. Well, that's new. Um. Yeah, there's that. Uh, flight results, catastrophic failure. Well, I'm glad I had that here. <laughs> Let's go back to the space center. <laughs> Um, yeah, some learning. That's, uh, that's definitely needed on this side. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with my life, apparently. Maybe we try with hyper wings this time. Get rid of them. Oh, we need a parachute, don't we? That's what we need. Utility. Where's that? Mark 25 parachute. No, I don't want that. I want a smaller one. There we go. Right, now I do the staging thing. Excellent. Right, let's try this again. Launch. Maybe we might actually go straight up this time. Probably not. Or we could do the separation thing, really, couldn't we? Right. Launch. We ran out of fuel, didn't we? Oh no. Did that parachute just deploy? I've deployed a parachute by accident. Uh oh. Um. Like. No, stop. Abandoned ship. Um, we're going back to run out of fuel. Uh, oh dear. Um, you know what? I'm further hindsight. It feels like there's more I need to do. Are we going to be able to land this safely this time? Um, well, look on the bright side. We're landing. Can we eject this thing now? Staging sequence. Can I tell this thing to eject? Oh, stage. Stage two? Oh! Well, on the bright side, I survived. I mean, I'm here. Crew hatch. Took a little bit of damage. So yeah, I, I think that's mission success. Um, uh, yeah, recovery vessel, I think. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> I enjoy this game. I think it's quite cool to play with. It'd be interesting to see what else you can play with. Let's just get rid of a parachute altogether. Let's try it again. Without the parachute. In fact, let's not do that. Let's rip this out, and that. Let's get some more fuel on board, and let's just lob it with as much past stuff as we possibly can. Fuel tanks, right, give me the biggest one you can. That doesn't work out, it needs to be aerodynamic. That's not going to work either, Jack. There you go, get me two fuel tanks. There you go, right, now get me a engine again, we'll give some more fuel. Solid fuel booster. 
Um, I don't think we can see the whole thing. Whiplash, how much this power? Ramjet engine. Let's try this. Engage launch, number one. What's the bet this won't work either? It'd be interesting to see where it goes. And doesn't wind affect this, really? I mean, in realistic stance here, we're running out of fuel. The bar at the top there is not adding up to a bar down here. Also, I just remembered, we don't have a parachute on board. And we're running out of fuel. I also seem to be, we seem to be leaning slightly. I mean, on the bright side, we're getting somewhere, but we are about to run out of fuel. It was nice knowing you all. This seems like a repeat performance. Well, maybe gravity will help us and we'll keep going up. You know, for some reason we actually are still going... Oh, our momentum's carrying us. And... Back down again. Ooh, no, we're still going. How can we still be going? That's not physically possible. That can't be physically possible. We can't... I mean, I'm not... I not, don't understand physics whatsoever. Well, I understand the basic premise of physics, but... We are drifting into space? Surely the gravity will still be pulling us down. I mean, our speed is slowing completely. But... Oh, okay. Um, this game will actually get me interested. Is that the Death Star? That just looked really weird. What are all these buttons doing? H, J, K, L, O, P, M. Oh! Um. Christ knows where we're going. We're, oh, we've tilted slightly. Uh, we're tilting. Still tilting. It's, it's angling. No, it's angling. Uh-oh. No, no. I pressed the button, it's all gone wrong. Are we going down? 30,000? What the hell is it doing? You can't be serious. Go Looks like we're heading down. No, it's spinning. What the hell are you doing? St As a cockpit module? Wow. Since when? What, how did I press to get into that? Um, um shit. What am I doing? How do I get out of this? Um, oh, look at... Oh, I can see up a window. Nice. I don't have any feet. Can I press... What does that do? I feel like I'm in a space for me. It doesn't work, Captain. Orbital, um... What do we... Oh, we can actually control these buttons. Nice. Um, Captain, none of these buttons work. Stage. I feel like we're heading closer to the surface. Oh, look at that. We are. How do I get out of this mode? Um, N, 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 M, B, C, W, X, Y, hat, eh. Um, we're gonna crash into the water again, aren't we? This explosion is gonna be louder. I'm briefing you now. Godspeed all, I'm gonna drink tea as I do this. It was nice knowing you all. This tea is actually going cold. Bugger, we're not going into water. I hope we didn't want that golf course, sir. Ouch. Well, not that far. It's not that far of a walk back in that case, is it? Nice. It seems like my skills as a physicist and rocket builder or rocket scientist aren't going to happen anytime soon. I probably the aerodynamics of this aren't going to add up, is it? To be honest, on, on a further hindsight, more more messing around of this game is needed. I think this has been my first look at the game. Obviously, I cannot launch a rocket. I probably should listen to those training manuals a bit more. But I hope you did, guys, did enjoy actually me looking at this game for a change. If you'd like to see more content of me actually learning the game, which is something I'm interested in doing when I get some spare time soon, is to sit down and actually learn more about this game. Watch a few other YouTubers. I've already known of one who you guys have recommended to me who I'm probably going to watch a little bit more of. And actually just get to grips with the game and see what we can do in it. Because like I said, it's, it's a fun game. I'm enjoying it. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see where we go. Can we like get add-ons for it? Because I don't know, there's something on about it. I'll have to see. But it's still quite cool. R&D facility, National Complex. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It has been quite cool to play around with, and I'd be interested to see what else I can play around with very soon. And yeah, I've been Cam Jack. I hope you're having a nice December and enjoying the content we're putting out recently. If you'd like to see more Curl Space, go and me dicking around in this game and blowing spaceships up and actually trying to escape the planet and maybe get a space station. That should be our ultimate goal. Then feel free to leave a like on the video and let me know how I can improve. Your opinion is always wanted, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.